Hey everyone, this is Derek here. Welcome to another exciting drop or loot location video on Sonoc, the tropical rainforest map that was introduced with the recent PUBG Mobile 0.8.0 global update. What makes this drop location unique is that it's actually where you start every match. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at Bond, the place where we spawn in and throw apples at each other for a minute before we board that plane. So you can see it's a little ways off the flight path. I'm going to have a bit to fly in the air to get here, but uh, don't worry, we will make it for sure. And what makes this dropper loot location video also rather unique is that I don't think everyone realizes just how good the loot is here yet. So I'm sure people are going to start dropping here. However, right now it seems like the named locations are by far the most common places to drop to. And that means that if you drop at Bond instead, there's a good chance that there won't be anybody dropping with you. So we'll take a look through the air right now. You can see some real people, lots of real people actually heading that way. You know, I don't see anybody really following me though. So there's the plane. Yeah, I don't see anyone. So we'll have to keep an eye on them, but just know that uh, this location, at least right now, is not that popular. You can see that different color tree in the middle of it. That's a way, good way to um, know that you are indeed pointing in the right direction. There's our thumbnail, probably. And I like to start around the outside and work my way in. Basically, the loot is arranged in two circles around the uh, tree. So here we go. Let's grab an extended magazine there. Is a Thompson SMG, so the Tommy gun has been renamed the Thompson SMG or Thompson submachine gun. And I loot this slower than I would normally loot just because I want to show you guys what we've got. So you can see nothing all that crazy yet, although we do have a Tommy gun or a Thompson SMG with the extended magazine. Dual bullet loops, okay. Well, let's grab that AK though, that's a good find. There's some more 762 fort. And here's a military vest and a level 2 helmet all together. Perfect. There's some more 762, so we're lucking out on the 762 this round. And that looks like a scope, a three times scope. Well, we can't adjust, unfortunately, can't adjust the sensitivity of it. Uh, there's a uh, lag spike, so it might be a person around here, we'll have to see, or a bot. But uh, even still, still a very, very good weapon for sure. Let's loot up that bat pack. And here's another scope, a four times scope, sweet. So you can see here I've made one, uh, oh my gosh, huge lag spike. Uh, we've made one revolution so far. So, so far we've made one complete revolution around the circle, which means you want to work your way into the circle now. So now we're going to loot the inside stuff, which there typically isn't as much. So that's why I recommend looting the outside stuff first. And you can see we're almost there, almost done. And again, you would be doing this faster in a, uh, in a real match if you were actually like trying to win, but uh, the point of this video is more so to introduce you guys to the location and show you that, uh, hey, look, this is a location that's pretty good and one that you might want to check out. So now I'm just running around just to make sure I didn't miss anything uh, showcasing how good the loot here is because it's pretty good. I mean, look at that. That quickly, we got uh, a Tommy gun and an AK. We have two scopes for the AK. We also have a level three vest, level two helmet, and... Uh, yeah, some pretty decent equipment, some frag grenades, uh, two first aid kits, five bandages. Uh, also, little known, or I guess not little known secret, but basically you can climb up here. Sometimes you'll find gear up here too. There's an adrenaline syringe. That's a really good find. So there is some gear up here, but I don't recommend uh, starting up on the top because, well, there just isn't as much gear. You can easily fall down, and it's only arranged on these uh, areas where, like you see where there's basically a... Um, what do you call it, boards, like cross boards there that support the items. So, again, want to let you know that there is loot up here. There just isn't that much of it, and I would do this only after you loot the rest of the place if there is nobody else there. Um, there's a stun grenade. Almost looked like a person from far away. Let's go ahead and grab that 45 just because we do have the Thompson. So, Thompson with an extended quick draw. It's pretty good. So now we've almost made our way all the way around here. We have still not fallen off. Rather impressed. And we're almost there. So yeah, just a good drop or loot location uh, for solo or duos. I don't remember if I said that already, but I would recommend this only for solo or duos just because I don't think there's enough loot here for squads. 
And uh, yeah, you don't want to get caught. You know, it's easy to gear up on Sonox, so you don't want to get caught without uh, good gear. So solo or duos, though, it's awesome loot and not that popular yet because, like I said, at least until we're making this video, uh, there's a pretty good chance that uh, people won't drop here. They'll drop somewhere like Training Center or uh, Paradise Resort or Boot Camp, they call it now. So Boot Camp or Paradise Resort instead. Next, I like to loot these buildings that are very close to the uh, northwest. You can see I got some good healing items there. Could have grabbed more 45, but I don't think we're really going to use it because I have a feeling that we are going to switch to 556 at some point. There's another three times scoop. And there's a door that I did not open. Interesting. So let's go ahead, drop the tactical stop, drop the extended. And uh, I guess we, oh, we grabbed double AKM. I don't know when we did that, but we grabbed a double AKM. Okay, well. Let's uh, go ahead and we'll swap one of those out for the M4 and then we'll have some 5.56 five, and some 7.62 represented. So it looks like there might be a bot or a real person. So bots can open doors and, uh, oh yeah, there he is. So good chance that that was a uh, bot, yeah. But bots can open doors, so that might have been who did that, or most likely, actually, that is who did that. So, got lots of 7.62, lots of 5.56, and like I said, a pretty good start to the game. So, from here, if you want to get a vehicle, which I'd imagine uh, you might need to, depending on where the zone is, the vehicle spawn is right to the west-northwest of Bonn. So, We'll go ahead and run over that way now and just take a look if we could find a vehicle along the road or not. There almost always is one here, and indeed there is. Look at that, Dacia. So there you have it. Hopefully uh, you learned something, you enjoyed this quick dropper loot location video on Sonic. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It really does help the channel grow, and we are getting close to 100K. Definitely get excited about that and that face reveal coming at 100K. So I hope to see you on the battlefield soon or in my Discord server, which I'll leave a link to down below.